Hello, my name is Ambrose. I've got this mass of caterpillars here. And they seem to be going mass down the tree. Maybe they finish eating up the tree and they're going down for a bit of a rest. Maybe. And the reason they're clumping together is because they're trying to make themselves look like a big one animal so birds can't easily pick them off. Let's take a look at them. Now that I'm looking more closely, these aren't caterpillar feet. These are larvae. They're sawfly larvae. They're not sawflies, they look like flies, and actually are not flies. They're a type of wasp, but they're much fatter, have a chunky waist, and they don't have a stinger. And that's how they get the name, flies. Wasps have a slimmer waist and have a stinger. The common names of some insects can be a bit confusing. The common name of insects seems to be what they look like. Sawflies look more like a fly than a wasp. Blue ants look more like an ant than a wasp. And they're actually not a type of ant. It's a wasp. But it does have a stinger and it lives mostly underground preying upon mole crickets and laying their eggs in them. And even termites. People used to call them white ants just because they look like ants. And they're white. But they call it that because they're not entomologists and they don't know that termites are actually not related at all to ants. These insects are called sawflies because the female's ovipostor is a bit saw-like, which she uses for sawing slits into plant material for laying her eggs. The females are parthenogenic, which means they don't need males to fertilise their eggs. Stick insects are also parthenogenic. It seems like these ones have fully developed, so soon they'll dig into the soil and make a cocoon and pupate and then come out soon later as sawflies. So that might be where they're going. Or they could be moving to another tree. There could be around 50 there. At night, the sawfly larvae spread out from their cluster and go and feed. But when it's daylight, they come back together and make their protective cluster again. The adult sawflies don't feed. They actually only feed when they're larvae. The sawfly larvae are also called spitfires because they can dribble a mustard coloured eucalyptus smelling, probably eucalyptus tasting, thick liquid from their mouths to deter predators. What I've noticed is they do some head bobbing when they move down the tree. The ones at the front just do some three or so head bobs and then they move down a bit. Then they'll stop. Then a few minutes later, they'll do the head bobbing again and move down. See, they're doing it now. I'm at Watigan's National Park. I better say goodbye, so thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you on our next adventure. Subscribe so you can join me on our next adventure. Bye.